Well, breaking news this morning, I have good news. I-75 northbound has reopened over the Rouge River Bridge. Take a look behind me. As we can see, traffic is starting to pile through here. That is fantastic news as we have seen those closures and those major delays throughout the morning. Now, we are still closed in the southbound lanes. As you are heading out the door this morning, we're going to have you hop off at Springwells and you are forced onto Fort Street and then you can get back on I-75 there. Now, 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is live on the scene right now with Diane Cross from MDOT to give us a breakdown of exactly what happened this morning. Hey, Kim. Yeah, I want you to take a look at what's going on right now. You can see the I-75 bridge. You can see the traffic is now moving northbound, just as you said. And I'm joined by Diane Cross from MDOT. Thanks so much for coming out this morning. Tell me what you can about what's going on up there. We're just getting word northbound 75. We are reopening, but of course we have many miles of backup traffic on 75 that was trying to get off at Fort Street. We have to clear all that on 75. We have to clear Fort Street, but northbound should be back to somewhat of a normal situation, maybe in the next 20 minutes to half an hour. Southbound we think will be closed all afternoon. While the fire appears to be out, firefighters will be watching that because you can always have flare-ups, and that's the last thing you want is some unexpected flames while traffic might suddenly be going by. It'll take a couple of hours to remove that truck and all the various pieces for different tow trucks that'll have to come in and do that before we can even start to examine the road, see what kind of damage the high heat might have done to the driving surface. If the median wall, the barrier walls were in any way damaged, bridge inspectors are on their way to come and look not only at the top, but also below to make sure the bridge is safe before we can even considering reopening it. Thank you so much for that update. That's good to know that you're going to want to avoid that area if you go southbound. In the meantime, we do know that the driver of that truck was okay. He was not hurt. There was a truck malfunction that caused all of this. We'll continue to follow this live in Detroit. Kim Russell, 7 Action News.